Boston is home to several stunning parks, one of which is the oldest public park in the United States that dates back to 1634. Do you know which park it is? Not only is Boston the home of the prestigious Harvard and MIT universities, it's also the capital and largest city in Massachusetts. Boston has played a pivotal role in shaping the course of America's past and present, from the revolutionary spirit of the Boston Tea Party, to the enduring legacy of the Boston Red Sox. It's a city that has always stood out for its determination and resilience, and it boasts a prime location that's steeped in historical significance. Join me as we explore the streets of this great city, and discover the stories, the people, and the historic landmarks that make Boston one of the most vibrant and unique places in the world. Our first stop is the Boston Harbor. The harbor has played a vital role in the history and development of the city of Boston. Dating back to the 17th century, the harbor served as a hub for trade and commerce, connecting Boston to the rest of the world. The bustling port attracted immigrants, merchants, and business leaders, helping to spur the growth and prosperity of the city. However, as the Industrial Revolution took hold, the harbor became increasingly polluted, leading to health and environmental concerns for the people of Boston. The Boston Harbor Cleanup Project, which began in the 1980s, was one of the largest and most expensive environmental projects in history. The government and private citizens came together to clean up the harbor. It was a massive and costly undertaking that took decades to complete. Today, the harbor is once again a vibrant and thriving hub of activity, with recreational opportunities, fishing, and a thriving tourism industry. Its history and impact on the city of Boston serves as a reminder of the power of collective action and the resilience of the human spirit. The Boston Tea Party Museum is a living history museum that tells the story of the Boston Tea Party and its role in the American Revolution. The museum aims to educate and entertain visitors of all ages, providing a unique and immersive look at one of the most iconic moments in American history. And the USS Constitution Museum is dedicated to preserving and interpreting the history of the USS Constitution, the oldest commissioned warship afloat in the world. The museum offers visitors the chance to learn about the ship's history, the lives of its crew, and its role in the US Navy during the War of 1812. Visitors can explore interactive exhibits and artifacts, and even climb aboard the ship for a tour of the deck and below deck areas. The museum serves as a tribute to the sailors who served on the USS Constitution and the enduring legacy of the ship. And the JFK Presidential Library and Museum is dedicated to the legacy of President John F. Kennedy. The museum features a collection of artifacts, photographs, and documents that tell the story of JFK's life and presidency, as well as interactive exhibits, multimedia presentations, and special exhibitions. The library also serves as a research facility and hosts a variety of educational programs and events. The New England Aquarium is located in the heart of Boston's historic waterfront in the Central Wharf area, offering visitors a chance to immerse themselves in the world of marine life. It's home to over 20,000 animals representing more than 600 species, including sharks, sea turtles, penguins, and thousands of colorful fish. The aquarium features multiple exhibit galleries, interactive programs, and a state-of-the-art IMAX theater, which takes visitors on an immersive journey into the ocean. The aquarium also has a strong commitment to conservation and sustainability, with research and education programs that aim to inspire visitors to take action to protect the ocean and its inhabitants. Just a few blocks inland you'll find Bunker Hill. It's a historic site that marks the location of the Battle of Bunker Hill, one of the first major battles of the American Revolution. The site features a monument that stands 221 feet tall and a museum that tells the story of the battle through artifacts, interactive exhibits, and historical reenactments. Today the site serves as a powerful reminder of the sacrifices made by the colonists in the fight for independence and the birth of the United States of America. If you travel south and cross Bunker Hill Memorial Bridge, you'll find a community called the North End, also known as Little Italy. It's a historic neighborhood known for its charming cobblestone streets, delicious Italian cuisine, and vibrant culture. It's one of the oldest neighborhoods in the city, with buildings dating back to the 1600s and a rich history that reflects the waves of immigrants who have made it their home. Visitors can stroll through the neighborhood's narrow streets, sample traditional Italian pastries, or take in a performance at one of the area's many live music venues. 
The North End is a vibrant and dynamic neighborhood that offers a unique glimpse into the history and culture of Boston. Nestled next to the North End is Christopher Columbus Waterfront Park. It offers a beautiful waterfront setting with a rich history dating back to the late 19th century. The park features a promenade, grassy lawns, playground, splash pad and dog park, as well as an impressive archway entrance. Visitors can enjoy the views of the harbor and relax in the park's peaceful setting. It is a beloved destination for both locals and visitors, who come to enjoy the best of Boston's history and culture. Just a five-minute drive west of Columbus Park is America's oldest public park, Boston Common. You'll notice it across the street from the state capitol. It dates back to 1634 and serves as a central gathering place for the city of Boston, and it played an important role in the city's history, including a base camp for British troops during the Revolutionary War. Today, visitors can enjoy the park's beautiful gardens and historic landmarks. It's a beloved and significant part of the city's culture and history. Boston Public Garden, located adjacent to Boston Common, is the first public botanical garden in the United States. It was established in 1837 and designed by George F. Meacham, who drew inspiration from European gardens. It is a popular spot for events and activities such as concerts, festivals, and even marriage proposals. One of the most famous attractions in the garden is the Swan Boats, which have been in operation since 1877 and offer visitors a unique way to see the garden from the water. The garden also features the Makeway for Ducklands statue, a popular spot for families and a tribute to Robert McCloskey's children's book. Visitors also enjoy the garden's peaceful atmosphere and the opportunity to relax and enjoy nature in the middle of a busy city. The garden also features sculptures, monuments, and memorials, including a statue of George Washington. The famous bar, Cheers, is just across the street to the north. This historic bar, made famous by the hit television show, has adorned with memorabilia from the TV show and the friendly staff are always eager to make visitors feel at home. And just across the street to the west from the public garden is Back Bay. It's known for its picturesque streets lined with Victorian brownstone houses, many of which are now home to trendy boutiques, restaurants, and cafes. The area is also home to some of Boston's most iconic landmarks, including the Prudential Center, the Boston Public Library, and the Trinity Church which is located at Copley Square, named after the artist John Singleton Copley, and it's one of the most iconic and popular squares in the city. Back Bay is also considered one of the most desirable neighborhoods, known for its high-end shops, upscale restaurants, and tree-lined streets. In the heart of Back Bay you'll find the historic Newberry Street. It's lined with a wide variety of high-end designer boutiques, art galleries, and independent shops, as well as some of the city's best restaurants and cafes. It's a popular spot for locals and tourists, thanks to the diverse selection of offerings and the charming architecture of the brownstone buildings that line the street. Newberry Street is also known for its lively atmosphere, and it's a great place to stroll and take in the sights and sounds of the city. Please take this moment to subscribe, click like, and ring the notification bell, so you don't miss our newest destinations. Fannel Hall and Quincy Hall are two of Boston's most iconic landmarks located in the center of downtown. Fannel Hall, built in 1742, served as a marketplace and meeting hall for the city's citizens and was a popular spot for speeches and rallies that helped spark the American Revolution. Today, it is a popular tourist destination and part of the Boston National Historical Park. Quincy Hall, built in 1825, was the home of Josiah Quincy III, a prominent lawyer and mayor of Boston in the 19th century. Today, it is used as a community center and event space for the city of Boston. Together, these buildings offer a glimpse into Boston's rich history and its role in shaping the nation. Located on the Charles River is the Museum of Science, a world-renowned educational institution that offers a wide range of interactive exhibits and programs to visitors. It features a diverse collection of scientific and technological displays, including a planetarium, an IMAX theater, and live demonstrations. The museum also offers a variety of science-based programs and activities for visitors of all ages. And you won't miss Fenway Park. It's been an integral part of the city's identity for over a century. 
As the home of the Boston Red Sox, the stadium is a symbol of Boston's passion for sports and has played a significant role in the city of Boston's history and culture. Located in the Fenway Kenmore neighborhood is the Museum of Fine Arts. It's one of the largest and most comprehensive art museums in the United States, with a collection spanning over 450,000 works of art from ancient to contemporary. The museum's collection is especially renowned for its holdings of American, Asian, Egyptian, and European art, and it also features a number of special exhibitions and educational programs throughout the year. And the Freedom Trail will guide you on a walking tour throughout the city so you can explore many of the historical locations. Boston is a city with so much to see. The memorable landmarks, world-renowned museums, and beautiful parks offer a glimpse into the city's rich history and cultural heritage. It truly is a city that promises to leave a lasting impression. You can explore more historical landmarks by venturing down to the heart of the South and get a spicy Cajun taste of New Orleans in this next video.